Hello, my name is Tamika Worker, and I facilitate the financial success classes at Louisville Scholar House. Back up some spending traps that you may have encountered that you may not think of as a spending trap. Now, some of the spending traps that we encounter um, are payday loans, check cashing places, um, family, friends, children um, can be a spending trap. Uh, things that you use as an alternate for banking can be a spending trap. Uh, if you don't have a banking account, a uh, savings account, that is a spending trap because you are going, so if you have a job and you need a direct deposit or you need, you may have a one of those cards you load your money on, you're going to pay huge uh, fees for those cards to keep them up, up kept. So those are spending traps. So. When you think about spending traps um, and what you should do when, uh, to avoid these places is to just be knowledgeable and be aware. So you want to think about another way to avoid these spending traps, to avoid those extra, that extra money that you're spending to go towards your savings, your, your spending plan, um, your emergency fund, those type of things. Um, I spoke about family and friends being spending plans. We don't really think about that, but someone may need you to co-sign for them. And that is a spending trap because if they can't afford it themselves, that means they're probably not going to pay it. And so you telling them no is a good thing. Some more spending traps I want to also talk about are the um, discount spending traps. So when you are couponing or those red light specials. Um, you may think that, you know, I'm getting a deal, I'm getting 70% off on something, but if you didn't plan that in your spending plan to spend that, that money, then that's a spending trap. Another spending trap can be vending machines. Um, we are out, we run to go, we're at school, we're handling our families, and sometimes you stop and you get a soda. So a soda's a dollar for so if say you get two sodas a day, you are spending over $90 a month for spending one a soda. Where are you? So those are those can be spending traps. Um, so those things that what we go back to our wants and needs is do I need that soda or can I pack a water bottle and drink some water? And when you think about spending traps and how it would lead you to those spending traps, of times if any of you all have encountered those spending traps, it's back to what we talk about wants and needs and about being content on what you have and uh, making it work with what you have. It's sometimes you, at the moment, you're like, I need it and you need it now. So we're a now society. So you need it now, so you want to go get it. So you know it's a check cashing place and you want to go get this $300 quickly to get the new concert ticket, the new outfit, or maybe it's just to pay a bill. Um, but those, those are spending traps.